do women have a prostate gland? I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and I'm advisor to Fem Health. And today we're gonna to talk all about female anatomy and specifically, do women have a prostate gland? Well, the short answer is no, but we do have a homolog. The homolog of the male prostate is actually the Skene's gland. And the Skene's gland is actually a network of small glands that are located in the anterior wall of the vagina, meaning the top of the vagina underneath the urethra. So the Skene's gland's function, or what we know about it, is that it releases fluid that lubricates the urethra, or the P-tube, because they have ducts that actually connect to the urethra. So that fluid is released into the P-tube. And in fact, this fluid may have antimicrobial properties to help prevent infection from entering the urethra. But the interesting part about these glands is they're often talked about in terms of the infamous G-spot. So the G-spot is actually not a spot at all, it's an erogenous zone where these Skene's glands sit. And like some men have pleasure from the prostate, some women also derive pleasure from the Skene's glands. And so this is where the discussion of squirting versus female ejaculate comes up. The thought is that when women get aroused, the Skene's glands fill with fluid. And when there's pressure on the urethra from the tissues around it that are now swollen and engorged, they can actually expel this fluid into the urethra, causing a release of fluid. Now, there's two different types of fluids that are often released that people talk about. One is squirting, which is a clear, odorless fluid that typically is similar in chemical composition to urine, like very dilute urine, and also has a substance called PSA phosphatase. And this is what's found in the Skene's gland. And so this is how we know that these glands release fluid that's associated with squirting. There's also female ejaculate, which is usually a much smaller volume of fluid that is usually white in color and is also released during times of arousal. So I mentioned before the G-spot or the erogenous zone, and this is actually an area of nerves that can be pleasurable to some people. It's not a specific spot or button that you're gonna find and be able to press. And so it's an area some people do find it pleasurable if that area of the anterior vaginal wall is stimulated. However, if you don't or you've never had pleasure with that area, that doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. Also, if you squirt or don't squirt or ejaculate or don't ejaculate, none of these things are normal or abnormal. In fact, people who squirt will describe sometimes this enhances their pleasures and other people say it doesn't. So you're not missing out on anything if you don't. If you do and you enjoy it, that's wonderful. A cancer of the urethra, the Skene's gland, or other structures around the urethra like a urethral diverticulum is extremely rare. And this is very different from prostate cancer, which is very common in men. If you are experiencing any abnormal discharge, bleeding, or pain in that area, please get seen by your gynecologist or urologist to get further evaluated. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the Fem Health channel where you can find evidence-based content for you by doctors. And always remember that Fem Health and its doctors are here for you and your families.